Hey guys, what is up? It's Plastic Guy back again with another figure review, and today we're taking a look at the NECA Ultimate Freddy vs. Jason Jason figure. This guy looks incredible. Got him in box here, product image there, and yeah, he just looks like a real mean Jason. One of my favourite looks. Um. I had to get this guy and add him to the collection. I've got plenty of other Jason figures. I've got the part three Jason right here. More classic look. This is the movie where he first donned his hockey mask. Really like this look. And then I've got the part five Roy Burns Jason. Well, he's not Jason. He's imposter Jason. He's Roy Burns. And this is where he's got the overalls and the hockey mask with the blue chevrons. And yeah, really, I mean, all the figures I've got of Jason are because I love the look of them. So I'm just going to keep on repeating myself. Part 6, especially. That face. Real gruesome. But yeah, I like the utility belt he's got. And this look and the wee sheath he's got for his machete. So yeah, those are the other Jasons I've got. But today, we'll take a look at the Freddy vs. Jason figure so looking at the box right here got a nice product shot of his mask I like the eye and then just the title at the bottom and the top this kind of moved over the way i've had him displayed but really nice image here that's awesome the side lots of pictures of jason the back He looks mental without his mask there. And the side again. So this is Jason Inbox. As I say, you've got product image here. Looks pretty cool. And this is how you can display him with the window packaging as I do at the moment. But let's get him out and take a closer look at Jason. Okay, so we finally got Jason out of the packaging, and can I just say, NECA, stop using these wires. They are so annoying to try and get off. It takes ages, it hurts your fingers. Marvel Legends and other companies, the DC Multiverse figures, they've stopped using them. NECA, it's time to stop using them as well. There's absolutely no need for them. But anyway, we've got the figure out of the packaging, we've got all the accessories, so let's take a look at them first. We've got two masks, well, three masks, including the one he's wearing. This is the Freddy Krueger slashed up mask. So you can see all the marks across the mask here from Freddy's glove. Great detail. And then you've got the covered in blood mask. So after you've slashed a few camp counselors, this is the look that Jason's going to be sporting. You've got a teddy bear, because why not? I have to say, I don't recall seeing this in the film, but it's obviously definitely in there, otherwise they wouldn't include it. Um, but yeah, I don't really remember the teddy bear. You get two machetes, both the exact same sculpt, but one's got some red across it for the blood. And then you've also got a flame effect, which I definitely remember in the film, and you can just slot that on top of the machete, like so. So Jason can be running with these machete on fire. I really like the accessories. Not too many, but the ones they come with are really good. Um, I like the look of all of them. So that's what he comes with. Let's take a closer look at Jason. So, as I said before, I really like the look of him. I think it's a great modern take on Jason, just with the jacket. Um, as opposed to, like, the part three, where it's just shirt and suit trousers. This guy looks great, and I would definitely be running away in fear if he was coming after me with a machete. Out of the packaging... You can really see all the detail in this guy, and there's a lot more paint 
than I previously noticed. Like the jacket's really well textured. You've got the blue undershirt here. And then a sort of black top or grey top over the top. And then you've got the trousers here. And then my biggest pet peeve. Oh my god, what are these? What are these? Like, here up, Jason looks terrifying. You're absolutely terrified. You're running away in fear. Jason's coming after you. And then you look down and you see these platforms. Like, I, I would be on the floor laughing. These aren't scary. They look absolutely ridiculous. I honestly hate it. It kind of... It doesn't ruin the look. It doesn't ruin the look. I keep on telling myself it's not going to ruin the look. But it does kind of ruin the look when you spot them. I was watching a video the other day. And they were saying that the actor just wasn't really tall enough. Especially compared to maybe previous actors. So they just shoved these platforms on. I, I didn't look into it. I don't know how true it is. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't. Like, if you've got the casting call for Jason, you need to make sure he's tall enough. You're not just going to shove these... <sighs> anyway, this is Jason. We'll take a look at the articulation. Also, that's him without his mask on. Not the most flattering guy. Strands of hair there. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky. I like him displayed with this kind of classic mask. And it's really easy just to pop these on and off as well. So, head, not much movement really. That's about as far as it's going to go. You can move up a tiny tad and you can't even look down. So his head does not really move. His arms, and just before I keep on going, as with all these neck of figures out of the box, they're stiff as anything. But yep, his arm moves up that much, moves back down, back, all the way around, obviously forward as well. His elbow is going to move about that much. So you've got a right angle, and you can also move around at the wrist as well. And then same with this arm, you can rotate him a wee bit at the waist, just like so. You can kick out that much, kick backwards about that much. It doesn't really hold in place, but you get the idea. Moves at the knee that much. And then you can also move his foot. Back and forward, and not really much else. So this guy is really limited in articulation, but I'm still happy with him. I've said before in these NECA videos, and kind of mentioned it at the start, I do display them in the window packaging. It's a good way to display the figure. You get all the accessories around them. You also get all the artwork that's on the window box as well, and the artwork's really nice, so I'm a bit boring. But if you do display them out of the box, you can, I suppose, be a bit hard to get into different poses. But I'm sure you'll find one that works either way. Overall, I'm really happy with this figure. Uh, it comes at the typical NECA price point, and for me, there's no complaints. I have the part 7 Jason pre-ordered and I really can't wait for him to arrive. I'll definitely put that review up on the channel. I kept telling myself I'm not going to get him. And then of course I'll re-watch the film. And once again, that's one of my favourite looks. So he's ordered. Can't wait for him to arrive. Add him to the Friday the 13th collection. But that's about it for this video guys please leave a like down below a comment subscribe for future reviews i'll leave the link to my instagram down below as well where you can check out a lot more of my figures in my collection i post pictures up on my instagram quite a lot every day and yeah that's it for this review guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys on the flip flop later cheers